What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 44th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about a couple things specifically about the keyword const which stands for constant. Now whenever you use the keyword const it means that whatever you use it on you typically use it on variables and stuff it means that that variable remains constant throughout your program aka it can't be changed or modified in any way so let's go ahead and take a quick look at that say you have an integer variable x and you set it equal to 3 whenever you first make it and then later on you want to change it to something like 5 well your program is just going to run fine and whenever you try to print out x or use it in any other way it's going to run perfectly fine as expected so what the constant keyword does and that constant keyword is c-o-n-s-t whenever you're creating something you put the constant keyword in there and it's pretty much telling your compiler alright now whenever I create this variable I'm gonna set it equal to value and I don't want you to change it for the rest of the program so now whenever you change try to change it to something else like 5 and try to run this program it's gonna get an error because it's saying hey Bucky you called this variable a constant you promised me you weren't gonna change it and now you lied to me right there so that's why I'm giving you an error so that's basically what the constant keyword does and make sure that whatever is constant is unable to be modified so that being said later on in your programming you're gonna learn that some objects you create you don't want them to be able to be modified um, some objects are just regular objects and other objects you want constant you don't want them to be able to change so you use this constant keyword whenever you create an object so therefore you have an object that can't be modified and you might be thinking alright so I can just use it with normal functions and not exactly whenever you have a constant object you can't call regular functions with them you can only call functions that they themselves are constant so constant objects need constant functions and of course whenever you create a constant function you need to make sure it's constant both in the prototype in the header file and in the definition aka the C++ source file so let's go ahead and just create a regular function first and then I'm gonna be running it aside a uh, constant object I'm gonna be doing a couple things so let's go ahead and make um, a Sally function and we'll just name it like print shiz and this is just a regular function I'm not doing anything weird yet so C out I'm um, just type I am a regular function and then end that line and then of course since we created a function we need to prototype it so then it is void I think I named it print shiz just like that so now we can see that we can just go ahead into our main program create a sally object and then we can use that sal object to call our regular functions such as print shiz just like that and whenever we run it everything's going to go smoothly it's going to print out I'm a regular function so I did that and we already know that so let's go ahead and jump into constant objects now whenever you create a constant object you do so doing this throw your keyword C O N S T before you create your object and everything else is basically exactly the same uh, you type what class you want it to be from and also what your name your object like const object looks like a pretty good name so you're saying alright all I need to do is const object and then I can go ahead and call my other methods like print shiz well whenever we try and do this we get an error message because it's saying alright you created an object that it was constant and you try to use a function that wasn't constant see this function isn't constant it's just a regular function so we need to build special constant functions whenever we create a constant object so we're saying alright let's go ahead and do that then so let's go ahead and create another method um, a constant excuse me another function I'm talking in Java another computer program language but let's go ahead and create another special constant function so void Sally um, let's just name this print shiz2 and in order to create a constant function you go ahead and you type the keyword constant right after your function definition so C O N S T so now what happens is right after this we build the body for it so this is just gonna see out um, I am the constant function just like that and of course we'll end that line right there and now like I said before we need to prototype it as a constant too so we need to basically tell every single file that we're going to be working with constant objects and in order to prototype it here's what we do go ahead 
and just like before, type void, print shiz, uh, yeah, that was called print shiz2, and you just write const right there. And now you're telling your compiler, all right, this is a constant object prototype. So a lot of people might think um, you do this, add the const before. Um, make sure you add it after the parameters, and you should be good to go. So now, whenever we try and run this constant function with a constant object, remember, this is our constant object, and this is our constant function, print shiz2. Now whenever we try and run it, it should be good to go. I am a regular function. I am the constant function. Pretty simple. So, so as you can see, whenever we build objects, if we build a regular object, we can use the regular functions with them. Whenever we build a constant object, we're telling our C++ compiler, all right, this object, we don't want anything to be able to modify it or change it. So it told us, all right, I can do that, but you need to build me some constant functions. If you do that for me, I'll run your program just fine. So that was our little deal we had with the compiler, and that's why this one ran with the regular function, and this constant object ran with the constant functions. So now you should understand how to prototype constant functions, how to create them, and also why constant objects need constant functions. And again, later on, you're going to be seeing why in like bigger programs. Um, you need to be able to create some objects that you want to be able to, to make constant and why they are useful for your compiler. So for now, I just want to teach you guys the very basics. So in the next tutorial, we're probably going to be covering constants a little bit more because there's actually a lot to go over with constants and classes. So for now, that's all you get. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.